if if both of these are sitting at two and two, you know, going we're gonna have to wait and see how they're gonna determine yeah. who's gonna be second place. We're, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to bring out the uh, the calculator to yep. figure out what the uh, what the finals is gonna look like. But we're jumping into this one right and now. Germany's going first. Germany has gone first. They are on forty cards. Will we see Martha Schifter, the classic, <laughs> the M Ray special? Uh, remember, Germany has not won a game with Snake Eye. Uh, so that's, and they uh, haven't lost the game with Exorcist. <laughs> that really just puts things into perspective, doesn't it? <laughs> to uh, be fair, though, their their Snake Eye game was really good. Uh, it, like they played really well, but they just it wasn't meant to be for them. That's uh, and not a Snake Eye. That card. is not a card that's typically in a Snake Eye deck. That card usually <laughs> picks up uh, an Exorcist or Martha. I love that. The question is: Is Six. there a, is there yep. a response window after this Prosperity? Oh, it Ash gets Blossom. ashed. Okay. Do we have Shifter? I mean, it's just a bait for uh, for Shifter? Martha, right? Shifter, mod check. <laughs> it's something. I there, mean, we're it's thinking. It's not just resolving. We have a response window. However, I mean, if it's if it's dimensional shifter, are we really waiting this long to use it? Like, I think if it's shifter, you slam that down, right? I mean, what other quick plays are there? I mean, there's it could packs, be. It's, I think I was thinking. You know what? I, you know what I think this means? Uh, it might mean they have their own Ash Blossom. <laughs> Right. And that's okay. why they were thinking about it. Or maybe they, they might they might be thinking like, hey, if you use this called by here, we can't use it on a potential maxi later, so maybe we can save it. Yeah. But they are they are getting to the conclusion Ooh, reboot. Reboot's in the main. <laughs> okay. They are ready for two. What is reboot for? Trap cards. <laughs> like <laughs> no, I, Silvera? <laughs> I don't think this is meant to be a, a snake eye counter. Okay. What is Exorcist or counter? Uh trap cards <laughs> we saw lightning storm earlier as well so. that's true yeah, yeah they're playing lightning storm as well so that's interesting um spain netherlands and again like we still haven't seen spain netherlands second deck of the of the tournament right we've gone through everyone's uh, so hopefully uh, maybe they've brought something for us here but again knowing quantal uh, as probably the unofficial team leader will definitely be what to be playing snake eye to guarantee a spot in the final here as we get a Bretonnia. This this prosperity, ideal, right? I was gonna say, I mean, the prosperity wasn't ideal. It didn't get them anything great. Like it showed Returnia, two red reboots, a ghost belt, two Returnias even. Two Returnias, two reboots. Sophia, Irene, and Bell. No, it was one Returnia, it wasn't two, actually. Uh, okay, that's right, something. Sakitama. That works. But it's not a. That's not the good one, actually. You're meant to open with like you're meant to use Aratama to search Sakitama. Rank four is a rank. It's four, a rank four. Least. Yes. In this case, yes. Something. Four plus four equals four. That's not how XE summoning works. <laughs> 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 World champ, by the way. There's Cas Patel. That is. I mean, technically, um, if there is no further disruption from Team Spain Netherlands, this is going to fetch a Martha, and that's going to make a Michaelis, and that's going to fetch. The other trap card, which is the full setup. Basically, yeah, we got there we in have, the I end. Mean, perfect. We would have we would have Magnifica plus both trap cards because we added one with the Prosperity. Now the question is, uh, what other non-engine do we have? Because I don't think just a Mikaelis Magnifica combo is going to be enough. It's a lot. It's actually a lot with both trap cards. You don't think that's enough? It's a lot, but I think with a good hand, especially considering how they're not using a bunch of disruption, we could see like some good, you know, uh, yeah. field breaking abilities uh, it's here. Not, it's not an auto win sort of situation where the, yeah. the opponent won't be able to do anything. Because the thing is, I'm like, more worried about Nibiru, but it, I, once again, I, I don't think it's there. Yeah, I mean, the issue is like pound for pound. I just feel like you know, Snake Eye like engine should, like could potentially beat this with a good enough hand. Um, and because of the fact that they haven't used any non-engine, it just makes me feel like there might be some strong counters, but we'll okay. see. I mean, I mean, what I will say is it's definitely hard if it's just the Snake Eye cards. Like if there's no help from like cards like Triple Tactics, Talents, or whatever else they put into their deck, I think it's going to be tough because just the amount of banishes that Exosister has, if you open this well, it's it's gonna be rough because they can take out you can take out the normal summon if you want to you can take out the first flamberge that hits the field you can even take out both flamberges if they manage to establish a second one so yeah and we saw it happen last time that exactly was and that on left this, them uh... without any you know without any option all right we are gonna have uh the snake eye deck well i assume unless it's like a snake eye variant but <laughs> yes bay netherlands yeah. coming up with their uh Signature deck of supports, I suppose you want to call it, because they're the only team that has only They played. have been the only ones that just said, no, Snake Eye is the best deck. We are not going to switch. Yep. Adding that Diabell Star here, if we have a good discard. I mean, 
original six. That's, that's all right. That's bad. at least got a graveyard effect. Uh, you can only yeah. use one of the two effects per turn. So if you want to use it on field, you can't use the other one. But it at least got, gets you some value. Um, the question is, do they play two of it? Or is this Diabelsa just going to set a wanted or maybe a different Snake Eye, uh, Sinful Spoil? There's different options. You know, I've been curious like what these uh, Snake Eye players through all of this tournament have been doing for their uh, consistency engine because mm -hmm. like have they just like without bonfire i really do feel like the deck can sometimes just lose to itself but i am I, I don't think we've seen anyone completely brick in in terms of snake eye right yeah i i mean i think i think the easiest quote-unquote way to just go about it is you want to max out on your diabell stars and your poplars because uh diabell star at three is just it's, it, i think it's just good because it's starter and extender at the same time whereas poplar is like kind of iffy a lot of the lists are only playing two copies because it's not your best starter my argument about it is like i would rather draw poplar than not draw uh, a normal summon mm -hmm. yeah. um because poplar on its own if it's i mean it's 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 something right it's i think it's good enough wanted um, a set here because yeah, it looks fine. like we are gonna go for the uh draw effect. there's there's two possibilities they either Wait, dude, don't play a second sinful spoil so Original Snake Eye. Spoils, I think we have we can some listen uh, into their, to their audio planning. here. Place we can take a listen at Germany. To do it, right? It fits like a bait, but we have to do it. And yeah. I think that's honestly an interesting perspective as well, because we're getting to hear to them honest. discuss their okay. disruptions. All right, here's uh, one of the two trap Ooh. cards being used here. Ash? They can't age. They can't age. Because of Copa. With them. Going this is. Um, I wonder if they plant this. Our question is, what do we summon out? Cards. I think we always go for mm -hmm. like like this is okay they're because they're also the just going to trigger right, right away, so you want to get the yeah, out. Correct. Like, I, I, I assume that was the whole purpose, purpose right? So the one that negates the graveyard effect. What are they trying to accomplish? Probably, right? Like just a Maxi off the top of the deck. Dweller and um, Jibreen as the Veiler. Mikaela's access, anyways. All right, here we go. Oh, we're and shaking we their ass, bro. They're shaking their heads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they can see each other. Yeah, they can see each other. They can't hear each other because of the headphones, but they can they can see each other. So, well, if uh, you can directly see your opponent shaking their head as you resolve two Exo Sister rank ups off of a single Vadis in response to the banish, then that's going to be huge. Yeah, that is big. I mean, they knew they had that, right? Yeah, that was... Uh, no, they knew about... No, they knew about it, yeah. they The Returnia was added off of Prosperity, and then Michaelis added the Vadis. So, yeah, they knew. This is just not worth, a, like, a draw, right? I mean, it must it must be a matter of they know that their current hand just cannot push through the existing mm -hmm. So field. they just have to. So you just have to go... Because maybe you can draw, like, a Maxi here, and then when they trigger both of the Exo Sisters, you get two more draws out of it. So this is really really bad because as sophiel is is massive because it's essentially just locking out the graveyard effects from activating so no flambers revive is the biggest deal yeah we don't we can't trigger uh like effects either like even if we uh get the poplar in the grave right so yeah we can't use Nothing. poplar in the graveyard we can't use flambers in the graveyard uh jabrin i believe is a quick effect effect negation as well now Quick effect, target and effect monster your opponent controls, yes. So, I mean, on top oh. of what we already had beforehand, now it's both of those, so. Yeah, this is a second Sinfil Spell. Um, one was discarded. We get to use the actual on field effect here as we hard drew it. And sending the Bell Star must feel kind of bad, but it does get you somewhere. This is at least going to be Ash for Poplar here, and we can try and play through this, but. Yeah, Graveyard is completely shut off right now, yeah. so that's going to be the biggest issue now. I, th I think the biggest, like, the biggest thing to realize here is that I'm pretty sure that Spain Netherlands does not have Triple Tactics Talents because this was going to be the spot to use it before you commit to your Sinful Spoil spell card. Like, the, the, the that was the moment where Talents would have come down because they just played into it by using those Exo Sister effects. And... If you had talents, you would want to use it first. So they don't have that. And that's the one card I could have seen them come back with. Yeah. Jabrin right. negates the Ash Blossom. We have a normal uh, the, summon the at least. Ash, so right? that's something. I mean, best case scenario, normal summon Poplar. Make Karibo scale. Summon from deck. Doesn't really get you anywhere if you can't trigger the Flamberge. I think the one, the best case scenario, which I don't think is in their deck, would have been like normal summon and then make Fucho into a Zeus. Because they summoned the Jabrin in defense position. I'm genuinely surprised at how the, we haven't seen any Zeus 
in the, it's just this tight. Whole day. The extra deck's just tight. Wow, really? It's just going to be Karibo set? That is going to be... Uh... It's a lot of sets, I guess, but... Yeah, but what does this represent in a Snake Eye deck? It's not like it's a, you're expecting anything crazy there from Snake Eye. It's like, okay, maybe it's a called by the grave. Maybe it's an impermanence, but nothing, nothing too threatening. And I mean, Cast Patel is already there to search a another monster, another like Martha, for example. So it's going to be a huge, like, I mean, Magnifica. <laughs> Yeah, this is you just chain banch, return. Yeah, yeah this is uh, everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. So much to get rid of here. There's one, and you gotta ask, like Team Germany, should we have played Exo Sister <laughs> the, the, whole, the, the entire time? <laughs> oh gosh, it's really something when your uh, your anti meta pick like this ends up carrying harder than your. Uh, I mean, literally the uh, the Exo Sister world champion. So there you go. It's actually just a world champ diff right now. Yeah. It's a little too late though, Emre. If only you'd brought this earlier. It might not be too late because this is the equalizer. I get, yeah, I know, I know. Right? This puts both of them at two and two, uh, which means we have UK at the top. All right, we're trying to figure out like the bet, the head to heads now. So like, did Germany beat UK? What was the UK? No, UK is XO. UK beat Germany. Yeah. yeah. So UK has not lost the game. I mean, UK head, is so... not going to go head to head because it's three zero. Yeah. So it needs to be like four other teams in head to head or something. It's so, okay. So Italy's at one and three, so they are out. Germany and Spain, Netherlands are going to be at two and two each, and then for France, it's up in the air. They are one and two. They have to play against UK. They could also get to two and two if they beat UK. Yeah. Which would put us to three and one for UK, and then we've got three, three teams, teams at, two, teams and at two. two and two, and Italy at one and three. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to have to see what the tiebreakers are, because I don't know what the tiebreakers are. Is it direct comparison? Because then yeah, Team we'll Germany to, uh... has beaten has beaten Spain, Netherlands right now. So they would win the direct comparison if that's what we're using. Well, we'll uh, we'll figure that question out. Uh, I mean, later. we're gonna have to wait because and see what France to, does yeah. first, and then we're gonna have to whip out the calculators. Yeah, well, it it, it really is kind of uh, down to if we survive this game. The Magnificas Pro can not looking not no, looking no, great. They can attack twice. They can attack twice. Uh, this is yeah, that's a lot of damage, and this is the final blow here. Okay, the set card is a wanted that they know about. So. Yes, that is Spain without the S. What can I say? He just, he just, he just, he just hits different with Exo Sister. I know. It's just, it's, it's, it's it, magical almost. What a shame! If only we'd done this earlier, we wouldn't be it in this type of situation. It might not be too late. It might not be too late. Okay, so we've got both of my teammates finishing at two and two here. I don't know how I feel about that. Losing only to the British. Yeah, <laughs> but at least. Um, I mean, at least at least they both still have a chance at making it to the finals. One of them. Yeah, one we're, of get, them. We're, we're gonna have to figure out exactly how this plays out. But yep. yeah, Team France yep. is the last one that I guess has to decide here. Could the UK is safe. Is the UK gonna give them a hard time? Yeah. We'll see. France could um, make it a three-way tie before we hop into the last uh, round, uh, the the third, the tenth uh, round robin stage match. We're gonna hear from Team Germany though, the winners of uh, round nine. Yep, take it away, Ed. Thank you, Farfa. Yes, I am here with the Germans who've just won that match and slightly now complicated things with the scores because I think UK might be safe, but now it might come down to a roulette depending on what happens in the next round. So we'll figure that one out when it happens. But congratulations. Basti, I just heard you at the end going, beating Quantal is all that matters. Did you or did you not say that from your mouth? I totally said that, and I feel very, very good that we did it. And I mean, we redeemed ourselves now. Losing the first two, but coming back, just playing Exorcists. And I just said to Emery, we should have just done it all the way. We should have brought Exorcists all the way. To be fair, you did dominate that game with the Exorcists. I mean, the Magnifica at the end, just, <laughs> just securing, getting rid of the Karibo and things. Now, it, you know, having to defeat your own teammate quite considerably with Exorcist. Is that a mixed bag of feelings? Honestly, it feels good. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, nothing but respect for Quantil. I mean, he's my god anyway, so. Well, that's good. That's still sweet. See, in defeat, you can be gracious, you can be nice, and you can support your teammates even if you're on a different team. Congratulations, you guys. That was a really well-deserved win.